How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to take a look at how I was able to get over 30,000 points this last Capital Raid weekend with using a variety of strategies. So let's jump right into the first one. Should be this one, a builder's workshop, yes. So here is the mostly basic layout have moved some stuff, but since the blast bow and a giant cannon is on the right hand side, we're going to try and go up the right side of the base to hopefully get to this giant cannon on the back side. Using the classic graveyard giant ram spam strategy, the idea is to just drop a graveyard spell over the high value splash damage defenses to hopefully distract along with the skeletons and the giants to protect the super wizards at all costs. Pretty great strategy. Works very well at capital peak level 8 and 9. And we'll see. So far we're at the beginning stages of capital peak 9, but it might start to fade away towards the, the end once bases are starting to get worth around 9, 10,000, we'll see. That's all I've heard so far. Here we get super, super lucky where the giant cannon got like chain distracted by skeletons. So it didn't even shoot the giant cannonball. So all of our super wizards were able to survive. Do get hit with a couple of bombs, unfortunately. Do get zapped by the Tesla as well. However, we still have two super wizards remaining, and since some extra stuff died and we had delayed that other graveyard spell, we actually get a couple of skeletons for the back side of the base. Speed it up a little bit through here, so it's just a matter of going through. We have decent tanks, decent amount of skeletons, so those two super wizards are doing some work. Those chain lightnings are able to take out the cannon, bounce off the town hall, and the giants actually get that rapid rocket before perishing to all the traps. <clears throat> but we're able to walk away with 5,800 points in the first one. A little bit tedious, but we have to go all the way back through here. And then we can take a look at the next attack. Which we are cleaning up a capital peak. <clears throat> Got two points lined up. Or two attacks lined up. Total of 8,210 points. And we're going in with what I like to use versus the capital peak. Which is for the first two attacks. <clears throat> pardon me. Use the sneaky archers to get to the district hall. Capital Peak Hall. <clears throat> and in combination with the Rage spells, it works out very, very well. We do have the level 5 Sneaky Archers, which helps out a lot. A lot more extra damage. And the trick is just trying to deploy the Sneaky Archers one at a time. It is tedious, it is slow, but it's, it's the best way and really the only way to use them. Unless you're attacking from multiple different vectors, you, know, you just sort of have to wait for the splash damage to hit, and then you can drop the next pack. So as you can see, we've got a X-Bow, a Rocket Artillery, Giant Cannon, Giant Cannon, Inferno Tower. We're just trying to clear a path so that the P.E.K.K.A. could eventually get to the capital peak. Biggest threat though is the Inferno Tower. Also be taking a lot of damage from this rocket artillery because as we are running out of archers we will not be able to take that out in time. Speed up through this last portion here. We have to wait for the capital peak artillery blast to land as well which takes even longer. We take out the Inferno Tower, and now we have the P.E.K.K.A. 
The only things on it are the Capitol Peak, the Wizard Tower, and the Rocket Artillery. So very, very quickly you can see it just dropped down to half health. And within a few more seconds, it is toasted. So, that was the first portion of the cleanup. And now we can go in with my personal favorite, which is air. So we take out the capital peak because that deals way too much damage for anything. And then we decide where to place the graveyards. Of course, one over the rocket artillery, one over the air bombs, and then one over the remaining air targeting defenses. We do have an inferno tower on the side here, but it's already half health, and I think one or two packs of balloons should take it out very, very quickly. Whenever there's only, I'd say, two big splash damaging defenses left that target air, then air is a good choice. Just smash it through the base. Um, the only other time it probably wouldn't work is if there were three or more, especially on a capital peak. Like maybe two air bombs are left and the rock artillery. And if they're in a bad spot or far away. It's not not the easiest thing to do. So last up we've got these guys and a couple of variety of bases. So here we are cleaning up a barbarian camp. Getting just under 5,000 points. <clears throat> and again we can see we've got the the one air bomb, the one rocket artillery. So that's only two major air targeting splash defenses left. So we can very easily take it out with the rocket balloons. Trying to deploy one pack of balloons per defense with low hit points, then two packs for high hit point buildings. We're trying to space them out so that the as the balloons die, a bunch of the air skeletons spawn, do some distracting, and the balloons can get closer and closer to the defenses and then take them out. Now there's nothing left but the cleanup. Got a whole bunch of air skeletons. Even some ground skeletons too from the what are those from? I'm not sure. Oh, it might have been a, a ram or something. Huh. Not actually sure. That's weird. Anyways, moving on to the Builder's Workshop. <clears throat> this one is the basic layout, and we are trying something a little bit different. We're doing our classic graveyard deployment. So one over the giant cannon, and then two over the blast bow. <coughs> Throughout the raid, those will do a great job taking out the blast bow and start taking out this back end section. And then this graveyard down here does a really nice job distracting. Unfortunately, it does turn around. It does clip those super wizards that were low from the, the mortar and the other splash defenses. We can see here the hogs, even with no heal spell, they were able to get pretty much where they would get to anyways if I had brought a heal spell anyways to try and do the one-shot strategy, so not bad. Sort of a little bit of a hybrid. The classic graveyard placements, but then bringing in some hogs to clear out that portion of the base instead of extra giants and wizards. So now we're just trying to get through the remainder of this section. It's not too bad. Starting to run out of skeletons though. We do have one super wizard <coughs> able to help clean up. But we really do not have anything left for the back end of this base. However, if you find this basic layout, you can very, very easily get 5,000, 5,500, depending on how many defenses there are, how well upgraded the base is. So it's a very nice hit, 72% destruction. And last but not least, we're taking a look at the basic layout of the skeleton park. 
This is actually the, uh, I believe, the most upgraded park I've seen. They actually have the rocket artillery unlocked. So here we're trying to do the one-shot strategy. Uh, we don't quite have the troop levels, I believe, and timing is a little bit off. But we are trying our best out here, trying to get all those points. The idea is to have the skeletons, a few skeletons spawn, to continually distract for the P.E.K.K.A. Clear out the little three section of defenses up top so we can deploy a pack of minions to take out those other three buildings, giant cannon, multi-cannon, and lodge building. Now we got a little bit tripped up here on the bottom portion of the base. I thought the hogs were going to go for the bomb tower. And then if the bomb tower went down, then I could drop some of the skeleton barrels. It didn't quite work out that way. So now all the hogs are going for the bomb tower. And they die out. So <clears throat> now we have to invest more in this bottom section. It's not the greatest. Drop the remainder of the hogs towards the rock artillery, because we definitely don't want that dealing too much damage. Take one big hit, but we're able to take it out. Now that the P.E.K.K.A. is here... Actually, it wasn't even the P.E.K.K.A., it was a barbarian that took out the bomb tower. But now that we're at this point, we can sort of send in the air skeletons wherever. Um, unfortunately, the minion hut does lock on to the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. very quickly dies out. Then, of course, if you are familiar with the base, you know there are some nasty, nasty traps. So yeah, those skeletons were not going to do anything. But we picked up 5,600 in one attack. So I hope this video was helpful. hope you learned a thing or two. And if you want to continue to watch some of my content, join the journey. There are a couple videos on the screen. And if you feel like subscribing and liking the video, it helps me out immensely. Until next time, take care.